Yeah, hi everyone. In this video, we will see how to generate a HTML report using JTL. So, what is a JTL? JTL is a file uh, which we uh, give as an input to write all the JMeter logs, uh, like our uh, HTTP request details, the response time, response uh, response time, uh, uh, that uh, the percentile average, and everything will be written into that file, the throughput. Uh, from server to server, from the server and to the server, uh, how much throughput we have sent from end uh, to that information will be given in the JTL file. Will JMeter will be write that content into a JMeter JTL file. Okay, so we now how to uh, generate a report using the JTL. So the, uh, even after doing the test, uh, JM, the report is the most important point where we uh, showcase uh, to. Uh, about our test and uh, to give the performance of your application. Okay, first select the JTL, uh, just select the JTL file. So this is number of transactions are completed, 97 transactions are completed. Uh, this is the response time. So it's the basic information what we give to the, just basic information. So generally, if you want to give the high level information, the average response times, uh, hits per second, and everything, you need to add each graph, each sampler, each sampler is a constant sampler and you have to provide your JTL uh, to provide your JTL and you have to take an image it you need to take an image uh, you need to take an image and you need to give this report so if I want to send that HTML report so how I can generate a HTML report okay after opening JMeter go to the properties sorry go to the tools here generate HTML report uh, go to the JIT, uh, you have three properties here, results file, user properties file, output directory file. So select uh, your uh, uh, JTL file. JTL file is in JTL file and the user properties will be in your JMeter bin folder. JMeter bin folder, you have the user.it properties. In output directory, the output directory should be empty while when you are giving that. So if you go to this report, it's I have, don't have anything. So there's a report folder I created. It's empty, so the folder should be empty. Uh, I have given the JMeter report folder. Now click on generate report. It's generating report. Uh, report is generated successfully. Yeah, report is generated successfully. Uh, we got the file uh, files here. So open the, your index.html file. Uh, you will be having you will be seeing the report uh, generated by JMeter by default. So yeah, this is the task start time and this is the end time of your test. Uh, it's a five minutes of test and uh, pass percentage and fail percentage of your request. So 1.73 and 9.28. And uh, uh, the, the API call store this update. What is the address count for the each and every transaction we got that. And this is a, a general aggregate report. What we do to the aggregate report sample. Aggregate report and uh, you have the errors. What is the errors types you got in your JMeter and top five errors by from your JMeter and for which request you got the errors? Uh, this is a high level information on index page. If you want to go for any charts, uh, over time, if we show you the what is the response time, uh, response time over uh, response times over graphs, this is a response time over time. Uh, started it filter but we didn't, we didn't use any filter now so response time for uh, uh, success transaction so this is a response time for success and failure this is 95 percentile if you want to see only uh, max and median so this is a maximum and median this is how we can use we can generate the html report this is a user format it's uh, ramped up and ramped down uh, ramped up and ramped down and uh, bytes per second bytes this is a bytes we sent throughput to the and there's a letter latency of the for network uh the latency includes your everything network the server everything this is latency from the server side and uh, uh including the network there's a connected time over there's a connection time how much time it was taken to connect the server and you have all the information throughput. If you come to throughput, you have throughput, uh, throughput was a six per second. Throughput was a six per second. So you have all the different types of graphs. If you generate a report, you will get all the information. Similarly, you generate all the information using the JTL file. 
Okay, this is how we need to generate. So we have three properties here: one property is a JTL file, and the property is the dot property which we have in a, a bin folder of JMeter, and the output directory. The directory should be empty. So using this JMeter uh, functionality, we can generate HTML report uh, with uh, beautiful uh, 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 metrics and uh, uh, images. I mean the pie charts. Uh, uh, graphs and everything so that will help a lot thanks for using during this friends